good evening. Look at the area conditions right now. 31 in Charleston, 32 in Paris, and 32 down in Robinson. Already starting to cool off as we head into the tonight, and that's when we're expecting that snow to start falling after midnight tonight. Last 12 hours today, though, started off pretty cool in the 20s all the way up until 11 a.m. That's when we finally reached the 30s, but 34 was only our daytime high today. So pretty cold today, and that trend's going to continue as we head out throughout the next several days. Wind speeds right now, though, 15 miles an hour in Champaign, 10 in Charleston, and 10 down in Robinson. We're getting that strong northeast air across the area, which is going to help cool down temperatures as we head into tonight and make it feel a little bit colder for your morning commute tomorrow. Overnight tonight, though, 24 degrees is the low. And again, that snow begins after midnight tonight. It's going to be cloudy all the way up to that point, but that snow is going to continue all the way through your Wednesday. 32 degrees is your high for tomorrow. Snow throughout the day, but then mostly cloudy for the evening. We're in the 30s for most of the day tomorrow. We'll walk you through what exactly to expect for that snow. Looking at Futurecast tonight, 11 p.m., we're still seeing those overcast skies across the area. But then if we continue on throughout the night and heading into Wednesday morning, that's when that snow starts to make its way to the picture. We're seeing that snow in our southeastern corner. That's going to continue to become widespread as we head on later into your Wednesday morning. Now the snow is widespread. This is where we could see the most of our snow across the night. One to two inches expected across the area. Some lighter snow up in our northwestern counties, but our southeastern counties are going to see most of that snow as we head on throughout your Wednesday morning. Now this is going to affect your morning commute, so take it slow on the roads tomorrow as that snow could stick and freeze to this freeze to the ground, which is going to make it a little bit difficult for your morning commute tomorrow. But after that snow passes through, it'll start to clear out, just leaving us with some mostly cloudy skies as we get into your Thursday morning. Now, snow potentials for tomorrow. Again, our northwestern counties are going to see a little bit of a, about an inch of maybe a little bit less across the area, but down towards the border of Indiana, that's where a majority of the snow is going to be one to two inches in our southeastern counties across the area tonight. So this is our first substantial snow of the year. So make sure to take it safe on those roads as you head out for tomorrow. The main points to take away for this, though, snow is going to begin just after midnight tonight. And again, those untreated roads tomorrow will impact your Wednesday morning commute. And again, take it slow as you head out the door for tomorrow on the roads. Wind gusts for tomorrow, 9 miles an hour in Champaign, 8 in Charleston, and 9 up in Danville. So we're still getting that northeast air coming across the area. And that's going to cool down temperatures for tomorrow. Picking up future cast again, though, this is after that snow has already passed through. So when you leave work tomorrow, that snow won't be falling, just some overcast skies, but that snow will still be on the ground. So again, take it slow for tomorrow because that snow is going to make things slick across the surface. And it's going to be cold for tomorrow. It's going to feel like 18 in Champaign, 20 in Charleston, and 17 in Danville. So bundle up for tomorrow morning. For your seven-day forecast Wednesday, expect that snow tonight and heading into tomorrow. And then we get a little bit of a warm-up for the rest of the week back into the 40s after that, but a few more tips as you travel for tomorrow. Remember that scraper for tomorrow as you'll need to scrape off that snow off the surface of your window and then maybe some ice underneath it. That first aid kit, you never know what can happen on the roads for tomorrow, so make sure to pack that for tomorrow. Jumper cables, you might need to jump that car as it's sitting in that cold weather all night tonight and even after work tomorrow. And again, extra clothing for tomorrow because you need to bundle up for a cold day and our first snow of the year. Everett.